Slope. The book tells you that slope is this. It is rise over run. Sometimes that confuses people. Um, rise just means how far up, and run means how far over. It's up on top, over on. Top. The one thing that is not always apparently obvious is what's the difference between positive slope and negative slope. Positive slope and negative slope. Positive slope is, so... It, it's going up to the right, it's a positive slope. Yeah, and you cannot ski. If you're if the mountain that you were skiing on had positive slope, you would not... Have you ever tried to ski uphill? Positive slope yes. is uphill. Of course, this is from left to right. Left to right. Positive slope is, God bless you, uphill, positive slope. Negative slope is downhill. And it goes there. And the way that you find the slope of something is you must, you must, you must, you must be able to make a right triangle out of it to figure out how far up. It's a ratio of how far up it goes to over how far over it goes. You have to make a right triangle. And you will see right here they did it with this, but you must also understand in order to make a right usable triangle, is that too big? Is that, no. I can make it smaller. It's perfect. It looks amazing. Can yeah. anybody besides Madison see that? <laughs> okay. Okay. In order to find slope, you have to pick two points that are actually coordinates. In other words, this. I cannot. Well, see how they, they picked one that's here and they picked one that's there. You could not, and it doesn't matter what two points you pick, but you cannot pick, you could not pick this as one of your points. Why? Because, yes, it, it falls on a vertical line but it doesn't fall on a horizontal line. If I asked you to tell me what the coordinates of that point where it was, is, what, whatever it is, you couldn't tell me, okay? Because it doesn't fall on two of them. You need to pick this one. This one you can't see, but I can't see the map. Yeah, Kim, what is this, five? What's this line touch over there? Um, four. So this point right here is four comma five. If I asked you to give me this point right here, I mean, you could guess. You can tell me the x value, which is what? One. No, two? Three. It's three? Yeah. Oh, it is three. One, two, three. It is three, comma, but what's the y value? I don't know. It's yeah. somewhere between you. Well, you're guessing, though. You need an exact point. I guess you get it. So here they did it. They did this. So from here, go up and over and make a right triangle. And that right triangle is what you use to find your slope. Uh, the first thing you want to say is a positive slope or is a negative slope? Well, you're skiing uphill, so it's positive slope. How high is this triangle? One, two, three. Over how wide is it? One, two. So it's a positive three half slope. By the way, boys and girls, in math, in the math that you're going to be getting to this year, next year, whatever, there's a certain letter we always use for slope in math, and it is. M, M is the letter that we use for slope. That is why for the linear equation, remember y equals mx plus b? y equals mx plus b. The letter M is slope. Is what it means here. 
Now back to this little one down on the bottom of your sheet. Let's see if we can't figure out. Anybody know where this is going? Not anywhere good. Over here. Not bad. Let's look at the slope of line A. So you want to find, first of all, line A. It is going uphill, so it's going to be positive slope, but you don't have to write down the positive sign. You need to come up with two points that are on that line. Well, it goes through the origin, so we get a guess. Let's use that one. And then the next one I really come to is this one right here. So there's two points on my line. I make a right triangle out of it. Oh, boy. And from that right triangle, you have to tell me how high is this Mr. Triangle there? It's only one unit high. And how wide is the triangle? Two. two. So what's its slope? It goes up one, up one over two, up one over two, up one over two. It would keep going in that same step pattern as we want. How about the green line, which I think is supposed to be C, if I can yeah. see it. Yeah. What is the slope of line C? Well, this one's going downhill, so the first thing, please make sure you put down the negative, because it's my negative slope. Where is another point where it crosses? Two. Two is only one number, and I have like eight of them on my paper here. This one? Yeah, sure, why not? If you make a triangle out of that, again, drop it down, come across. What, how high is that triangle? Two. Two. Too high. How wide is it? So my slope is negative two. You can leave it as a, you don't have to have a fraction. Slope doesn't have to be a fraction. And then just to show you, God bless you. Just to, God bless you. Just to show you that it doesn't matter what two points you pick, let's say I'm picking line, what line is left. Let's say I'm picking the red line here, line B. If I make this one of my points, and I make this one of my points, and I make my ginormous triangle right through here, and this is the triangle I'm using to find my slope. First of all, positive slope, negative slope? Uh, Are you positive? Yes. Okay. How high is my triangle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How wide is my triangle? One, two, three, four. So what is my slope? Positive two. Are you positive just because the equation? It is exactly right. You could put two over one, but it doesn't make any difference. And you could have done that. I mean, I could have made this. This could have been my triangle. Because it is two points there, up two over one. Up two over one, up two over one, and then you can make. Is that right there? Yes. Up two over one, up two over one. Should we the line? I'm not sure which line. Oh, wait, sorry. Up two over one. Emma Miller, thank you for asking the question. Wait, 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 wait. It's better to be so confused than so confessed. So confessed. No, so black. So black. Yes, Emma. But like, can't it, it would be like a speed like down both. Right. That's why it's always from left to right. You always start at the left side, going to the right side. You should always <coughs> ski from the west to the east. How about that? Yeah, you're right. That's why you always have to say because yes, if you if you happen to be skiing and starting here, you'd uh, be going downhill. But that would still be it's still a positive slope. But that's why you always, as you read it, start at this side and go that direction. Are there more questions out there? Uh, and I'm not even sure this is, I hope this is what we were supposed to do. Oh, yeah. How about that? Oh, yes. Are you ready? Andrew, are you ready? Are you ready? Wait, oh, you know what we forgot to do? Sorry. Um... <laughs> Now, the question you ask is what if, and what of, and what happens when? 
What is it? What, else? what happens when? We've got two. We've got two special examples. What if you're trying to ski? We're trying to see. And your the mountain you're on is absolutely flat. And the mountain you're on is absolutely flat. What kind of slope is that? What kind of slope is that? Well, if you use our little philosophy of rise over run, and answer these questions here, if you make a triangle out of this line, how high is that triangle? It's high. Well, it is zero high. It is not as high as well. How wide is it? Oh, oh, it depends. Well, it could be any number wide. It goes on forever. But let's just pick one. Five. <coughs> if you have the fraction zero over five, what does that simplify it down to? Uh, zero. A horizontal line has zero slope. Zero slope. Which would probably lead you to ask, what about a vertical line? Right. Granted, if you were skiing on a slope like that, good luck with that. Yeah, you have to Okay. But again, think about it in terms of rise over run. How high is that? How high is that triangle? That well, could be any number. Let's just pick one. Seven. How wide is that? Zero. So seven. No. Ladies and gentlemen, what happens when you have a zero on the bottom, Chase? You can never, ever have a zero. This has undefined slope. Undefined, and it may also be no slope. I have to see what it says. Yeah, it says undefined. I can't remember if no slope is undefined or zero. I think it's undefined. No, maybe it's zero. We'll pass on that. And then one more question you ask. One more question you ask. Write down this little table. This comes out of the book. I did not make this up. So here is a table. In said table are the values 4, 6, 10, and 18. And on the bottom are the values 10, 15, 25, and 45. And these, let's say these are my x values and those are my y values. And it asked you for the slope. Any suggestions on using that to find slope? Well, you could. What? You could make a graph out of it. That would be one way, you plot those points and make a triangle. Or, here's another way to define slope. Slope is, wait, I think it's said back here. Which one are we on? Where is it at? This is a big point right here. Here it is. This is also something. What does this say? If I go back to that little piece of information, is that this one? Where did it go? Here? This? Zach? Who's got it? If slope is defined as the change in y over the change in x, by the way, for those of you that are really striving for a lot on your maps, in math, to show change, rather than writing the long word out, sometimes they just put the little triangle called delta y over delta x. How do I find the change in y and the change in x? How much there is in Anybody? What do we do when we find change in things? Let's say the change in your age from now to, I don't know, when you're 25 or whatever. All right, it is subtracting. So if you just pick two points and do some subtracting, which means my change in y, these are my y numbers, I'll take the bigger one, 15 minus 10. What did y change there? 5 over what x changed in the same thing, 6 minus 4. This, ladies and gentlemen, is my slope change in x over the change in y. 
Guaranteed, if you drew that up on your little thing there, you would get that. Now, how did I know to put the 15 first? Because it's bigger. It doesn't matter. Okay. But I did it first because it matters. Okay. I could have put the 10 first and put 10 minus 15 on top and put that over. Did I really run to the bottom? No. I could have put that first, but then when I do this, I also have 4 minus 6. If I put this one first, I have to put this one first. I can't put this first and put the other value first on the y's. I put I want y for that. Anyways, what do you get? You get negative 5 over negative 2, which in fact is exactly 5 over 2. I'm saying that two negatives make a positive in the end when all the smoke comes. Well, I'm being negative that's so negative bonus. Jeez. Emma, was that your question? Um, no, I that would have been a good one. I would have thought Andrew, in his infinite wisdom, would have asked that, but no, he's not. He seems to be indifferent at times. Emily seems to be sleeping. Are you okay, Emily? I might say, I will never criticize anybody for sleeping in my class because I did my fair share at some point in my life. There was a boy that fell asleep to me while I was talking one on one to him. Wow. God rest his soul, he's no longer alive. And that wasn't a good thing. He had some. Wait, Emily, your question was? I'm sorry. Well, I was, I figured it out because I was confused where it was. It you know what I say? It's so better to be so confused than what? So, so what? Uh, what? So I was so confused why you put the y over the x and then I looked at the thing and changed in y over x. Yeah, right, 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 right. It's always y over x if you look at that slope. What would be a good reinforcement with this, would you say? One, two, three, two, three. I think if you look at page 260. Mm -hmm. Here is what we will do. Okay. This is probably one of the best ideas I've had since about 1130 this afternoon, this morning. You are going to do, children, you are going to do without any discussion with anybody else. And you don't have to do, you can do this on any old line or piece of paper. You are going to do problems for through seven, let's do four through eight. After you have completed four through eight, you are going to bring them back to me. I am going to confirm that you know, have some idea of what's going on with slope. Once we get positive confirmation from everybody, then we shall so turn into physical education part of the day. But you may not discuss with anybody else. If you have a question on it, you have to come talk to me. Um, this is page uh, lesson 41. I will write it here. 41 problems 4 through 8. 4 through 8 must confirm. Did I stop this crazy thing? I got it.